Dark Elder Dark Elder World. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Summer from the Depths. And you guys guessed it, it is the next building video for the Christmas campaign and probably the last building video for the Christmas campaign because I don't think I need that many crafts for the Christmas campaign. And I have said Christmas campaign four times in the past few seconds. I felt like I had to throw that fact out there, but this is the hull. This is a hover tank. I will, this is, I'll use this hull three times to make three different hover tanks. And this kind of ended up looking super cool. And the super cool factor partially comes from this applique panel that I've added and partially that I actually used a reference from a sci-fi hover tank is, I just Googled hover tank and looked at one that I really liked and I just tried copying that. These shades, oh, they are such a nice addition to the game. I absolutely adore them. So this is the hull. This is at 10,000 resources now. Pretty thick, pretty strong hull. And it's only at 1,917 volume. And all that is left to add on this thing is the thrusters, the ammo, the weapon, Basically everything, it's just a hole. Now that I think about it, this hole might just be too sleek for ammo and stuff, but this is a large area I have left clean, so everything might as well go into that place. So yeah, I'm really happy with the hole. Really want to build it. I just I just open H3 podcast in the background and I challenge myself to make a hole before that podcast ends and I succeeded. I am really happy about it. All right, guys, so I added the thrusters in here, and as you guys can see, in here is one. Here are some there in the back. Everywhere, thrusters everywhere. I absolutely want this thing to be speedy. And for the ammo, what I did was I sprinkled in some heavy armor in the side pods, and then this added ammo in there, and it's awkward, but it kind of works. And for the engine, I added this thing. Still have no idea how much power it gives, but... Let's find that out together, shall we? <laughs> Fuel storage box. Okay, that is 8,400 power, and I think that is good enough for me. And as you guys can see, I'm going to devote that to charging the batteries while there are batteries in this area here. This lump, this suspicious lump has batteries now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm making an awkward tank. Like... I was supposed to put a turret there, but now there's an engine there. So what am I supposed to put for a turret there? I have no idea, guys. I might just put the engine in the turret as well. So guys, yeah, I did not think... I, I mean, I do not think the fuel engine is going to work, so I change it for a steam engine, which creates 930 energy per second uses around 0.5 materials per second and it has a lot of material capsules so i think that is good for the hull now we need to cover this up let's do that at this current moment in time okay i don't get it guys now it's going up but yeah i now realize that we have to do some pitch but the thing is what isn't it supposed to stay above the altitude and if we fake the set point to like 21, isn't it supposed to go above this land here? Okay, now... I think we need more pitching. Pitching Pitarino. Okay, guys, I get what is happening in here. <laughs> Check the orientation of the craft! My word! How did I do that? Okay, that's the correct orientation now. Let's see if that works. Hopefully. It still doesn't. Why? Why do this to me, Pitch? Pitch? Pitch! 
Pitch your... Pitch. <laughs> Alright, maybe it needs an AI or something, but I don't think it does. Okay, suddenly somehow this thing is working. I don't know what was wrong with that, but now I know that the pitch gain is a little bit too high. Maybe those front pitch thrusters doesn't need to be that much, but I will keep that there because it kind of looks cool and 20,000, I guess I'll live with that. Now we need to fix the wobbly, wibbly, wobbly, 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 wobbly on the pitch. I fixed it. <laughs> and then fix it point 105 meters. That is too much. I want you to be a hover tank, not an aircraft. So I guess 28 meters above. Yeah, that is that is the hovercraft I want and rotates, but I think I need turning thrusters in the front as well for this thing to actually rotate the way I want it to. And then the forward thrust, it is moving at wow, 43 44 meters per second. I am quite happy with that. All right, might work now. Yes, it works. It is weird, but it works. It just works, guys. Turning pretty good enough for me, I guess. It's kind of a little drifty. But I guess that will do. And would you look at that, guys. I sometimes am surprised by myself. This thing ended up looking way better than what I had in mind. And, well, you guys might be thinking, why skip to the final build after just showing the hull? Because, let's be honest, what is to show in this thing? The hull is basically a solid block of metal with... I really had to squeeze in space like I really had to find space to put the resources it needs in it it barely has enough energy like it has enough energy but it just has enough electricity and just has enough power to run this thing in battle and these four turrets they're they are just self-contained turrets that all the turret components are in that tiny tiny turret cap if you look at those look at that it's just three bell fed autoloaders with relatively big shells for bell feds and they are all frag spammy shells with a hollow point head because that wrecks small crafts days and we have four of these turrets in here and if we go and to try and shoot them I have restricted them in such a way that one of the turrets won't shoot off the other one. And at a given time, two to three turrets can shoot at a target. And look at that, that is quite fast for what it is. Some of the shells are shooting these hollow point frags while the others are shooting... What are those? These are shooting hollow point frags as well. Then why is the color different? And if you just look at it move, while turning, it actually leans, which makes it feel more organic. It actually wobbles a little because of the not-so-sensitive PID, so it actually feels like a real-life hover, which has weight, and hovercrafts in real life would naturally kind of lean towards the side they're turning because of, of course, gravity and centrifugal force and stuff like that. So yeah, it kind of looks very organic while moving. Look at that slight slant. Guys, meet the Skull Smasher. Does this one not look menacing? It screams, screw you. <laughs> just look at that. Just, just, I, I am very proud of this craft. And thanks to Matey who helped a uh, done with this craft he actually made this turret for me since i was running out of 
time for today and he helped me out so I could possibly make two crafts in a single video but just look at that. This thing actually looks like a menacing skull. And it is a main turret which goes deep into the hull so yeah that is something to really look at. He did a really good job with the turret and in the sides we have two turrets as well. So this is a little bit more expensive than the Death Flower, but it still is 31, well, 32,000 resources. And it's only 3,099 volume. I have never built in such a small scale, except the suicide craft I made once, but that is beside the point. Our normal craft that is this small and looks good and has decent firepower and this thing has quite a lot of differences with the demon flower because first the turret actually goes through the entire hall yes it is still bell fed because let's be honest in small crafts bell feds is the best thing to do because you don't have much space but you still want that sweet sweet fire rate so it is bell fed but the thing is there are some bell feds down in the main turret section and then goes through here the neck and there are more bell feds in here the reason for that is this thing actually shoots a mixture of shells one is a hollow point shell with tracers oh no that's the wrong type of shell that's still the wrong one yeah Hollow point, solid body warhead shells with visible tracer, and the other is frag heads with inertial fuse, complete frag spam shells, and the side one shoots frag spams as well. And the middle turret can sustain the same fire rate for quite a long time. Let's show you guys. Look at that. Just would you look at that? Isn't that amazing? Hollow point frag shoots everything and this just screams screw you to any small craft and they are restricted as well so they are not gonna shoot the craft itself look at that look at that turn rate this is on a three meter turret so I'm quite glad <laughs> that I'm quite glad about how it turned out and if you guys saw yes some of the shells are bouncing back at us because this thing also have shields just look at that <laughs> where where are the shields i i got too hyped and now i cannot find the shells i mean shields oh yeah the shields are here suspicious lumps added why we need a space for the shields <laughs> Do you look at that shields? Yes, they're not double layered in most places, but in some places they are double layered. And I think that is enough of a shield for a very speedy. Mind you, if I didn't show you guys on the Death Blossom, but this thing is capable of... Okay, I put the wrong kind of controller yet again. God damn it. Why? Why do I keep doing this? I don't need a thrust control. I need a complex controller, please. Yes, thank you. <laughs> this thing moves at quite a fast, 43 to 44 meters per second, while the Death Flower moves at 41 meters per second. I actually added a few more thrusters in here, so yeah, this thing is even faster, this thing shoots faster, this thing is faster, this thing is more defensive because the death flower lacks a few heavy armor that i added in the important sections of this thing so that is kind of the light craft and this is kind of the screw you craft <laughs> okay well, weeble wobble 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 <laughs> i like how this thing behaves when moving it's just it's just so organic just look at that it just behaves so organically <laughs> Alright, four Miku Mark III's against one of these Skull Smashers. I'll go away because I know the robot will get shot the first volley, so yeah. <laughs> Miku 3's, are you guys alright? I already see fallen blocks. What? Why? Every single one of those has fallen blocks. I absolutely do not know why that happened, but I think some of those blocks got weirded out. I'll repair them. 
Oh, a lot of blocks fell off. Right, let us begin. For me, Miku Mark 3 is against one skull smasher. Who will win? Who will win? Vote down in the comments, although no one votes. So it's, it's kind of pointless saying that, but still. Miku Mark 3 shooting wild red blood red shells coming towards the Mikus and shredding them apart. And I do now see that we. I forgot target prioritization card on this thing because it is still shooting that same miku mark 3 even after it is devastated so why what is the point look at that thing that is dead it's still shooting with the with this thing but it, it is kind of dead and we are on the ground okay why are we on the ground what happened oh wow these Miku 3s, these are dangerous. These are very dangerous indeed. So we do need the target prioritization because even after killing this thing, this thing still is shooting this. Jesus. And even, <laughs> even the fact that it's on the ground and yet is firing is kind of fascinating to me. Yet it's moving as well. So might as well add some rubber down in there. Why has it fallen though? Engine powers. I guess it took out one of those engine power pods. So yeah, the engine power is gone. So I gotta improve on that engine power. Although even with that, this thing is managing <laughs> to shoot them down quite easily. It's managing to move. So just adding a little bit of rubber and adding a little bit of target prioritization might just fix this thing. All right, guys, improvements made, rubbers there, so even if it's shot down from its hover mode, it still can skid around. And I fixed the issue with this gun. I accidentally pressed assign to all, force assign to all, and it assigned everything to the hollow point shell, so it wasn't even shooting the main kind of shell. That is the frag spam, so yeah. Let's make you fight against four Miku Mark threes yet again. Okay, so hover. Probably not a good idea against the Miku 3s because they tend to shoot off the outer layers and that will be the thrusters and my th thing goes into lens king mode. But yeah, I'll try this anyway. I just cannot build a normal looking craft. Control, 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 control. <laughs> and yeah, I added a target prioritization as well. So whatever is at the max HP, it will shoot at it. Let it see shoot and these miku mark threes oh my god start shooting instantly well so does my craft but my craft is now shooting the correct kind of shell and it's missing miserably for some reason why why would you be oh okay no it wasn't missing it was just switching targets like crazy because yeah <laughs> one miku down two miku down actually third miku blazed up not down yet but blazed up nonetheless and this is the problem i gotta reduce the altitude i might just convert this thing into a skier and yeah it cannot shoot below it all that much better so yeah it is tanking them pretty nicely half of the shells are being deflected and the hash is going through it but it, it has taken not a lot of damage 96 percent and i think i didn't even give the time to reload all the shells inside it so yeah that is bad but nonetheless i think i have built something that satisfies me and then that will satisfy you guys so yeah let's let's wait for it to reload the things it has almost decapitated all of them look at that <laughs> they're not they're not even able to shoot that many shells anymore this one is chasing. This one is like, yeah, its tracks are broken. This one is, yeah, it, it's it's dead. It's the fact that its AI is alive and it, it actually looks like a real life tank corpse. I really like how they're built. It's still trying to move though. Oh, and the craft has started firing again and it is firing and I do now realize that I need to reduce the range at which that thing... And what the hell? 
It is engaging at such a far rate, just turning thrust to get blown off or something. Why are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let let us assess. These thrusters. Okay. My God, I forgot to set the turning thrusters again. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? But uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with it, even though it didn't have the turning thrusters set up. And even though it went so far away, it managed to kill all the Mikos, at least decapitate them. <sighs> Why do I keep forgetting stuff? All right, guys, sir, time's a damn charm. I think I fixed all the issues with the crowds that I honestly kind of forgot to have, but yeah. Sail shells much more accurate, much more accurately hitting the Mikus. Yeah, I, I don't know, it's switching target way too fast, I cannot keep up. It's still killing the first Miku, which is now dead. And there's something wrong with this craft. Sometimes it just likes to go down and go into landscare mode for some damn reason, I think. Why that is, I have no idea, but I am pretty sure adding those rubbers is helping this uh, craft a lot. I guess because I did not armor these, and this area is getting plopped out, so... PID is getting kind of angry and doing that, so... Oh, everything's dead, but this thing is on the ground now. Well, at least it managed to kill everything. <laughs> But I just cannot iron out the issue with it going land skier mode. <laughs> maybe I'll just turn this thing into a land skier. It'll be much better that way, maybe. But maybe. We'll see about that in the actual campaign. If it does not work. Look at that! It's a pack up again. <laughs> what a weird ass craft this is. I think it's the not that sensitive PID that's doing that. <laughs> as soon as it stopped firing, it is back up on its feet. No, <laughs> hovers, thrusters. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think I will add a little bit more rubber in such a way that it can go <laughs> skier mode on its own and then can get back up like crazy. What the hell is this? Alright guys, I guess we'll have the demon flower fight as well because why the hell not? I honestly do not have faith in the demon flower because this is more of an ascetic craft than an actual battle craft so I think the demon flower is gonna go down pretty badly so let, let's see what happens. Fight and the demon cross moves towards his enemies while... Uh, I think I even forgot to add local weapon controllers. Yeah, right guys, four Miku trees against one hopefully fixed demon flower. I still do not have any confidence on the demon flower. <laughs> Let's see, at least it shoots now, okay. It is shooting in burst fires of frags like it is intended to. The first frag already reaching the Miku 3, destroying a few blocks, but I do not think that is a really good crowd because Come on, it's not even hitting. The barrels are too small. The accuracy is not that great. So I think I will be using the Skull Smasher. But I won't be using this crowd because look at that. It's already losing. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that was the Demon Flower and the Skull Smasher. One turned out really great while the other turned out really bad and poop poop really shit i don't care <laughs> so yeah guys that was demon flower and skull smasher while one turned out really great the other not so much so we might as well in the next episode make a skier land skier version of the skull smasher with rubbers but we might not but we'll see about that 
And unfortunately, I have ran all out of time for today's episode here, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this video. Look at that Miku. Even if the turret is, like, shaved off, it's still managing to shoot. <laughs> oh, it is not shaved off. It just looks weird when shooting backwards. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like this video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Help me reach that thousand subscriber mark. And I'll see you guys in the next one. That just... That just gave me an idea for a melee craft for the next episode. Wow. Okay, that just... That collision just gave me an idea from the melee craft. Amazing. <laughs>